Welcome back to a spooky episode of Nerd Cuisine. Tonight I'd like to take a crack at the Blaggle from the video game Yokai Watch. Appropriate for the season, we have some horrifyingly ugly sourdough bagels, some hard-cooked eggs, which you can actually see on the game sprite, as is some lettuce. And I'm going to use some smoked salmon for the tongue, although bologna might work too. I just like salmon better. In addition to a schmear of cream cheese, we're going to use some capers and raw red onion, because honestly, nothing is scarier than raw red onion. Let's get started with the bagels for our blaggles, because they take the most time. Ooh. Start with one cup of our good friend, Bubbles the Sourdough Starter, and add to that three-fourths of a cup of water, two tablespoons of honey, two and three-fourths of a cup of bread flour, and two tablespoons of salt. Mix together slowly to foin <laughs> together slowly to form a shaggy dough, like zoinks. Then continue to mix until a smooth, tacky dough forms, about 10 minutes. I also like to work it a bit by hand. It feels more personal that way, I guess. My dough is definitely sticky rather than tacky, so if it looks like this, add a bit more flour. Learn from my mistakes. Proof covered by a wet tea towel until about 50% larger in volume, which would take about 1.5 to 2 hours. While it proofs, we can hard cook some eggs. I find steaming to work the best, and I have it timed down to a science for set but creamy yolks. Directly from the fridge, put your eggs in a steamer basket and steam for 11 minutes. Then put in room temperature water for 30 seconds before trying to deshell. I like to kind of crack it around the equator and then try to get to the underlying membrane between the egg and the shell. If you're lucky, you can cleanly remove most of the shell in one go. I guess I'm not as lucky as I thought. I think maybe I'm haunted by a black cat or something. Or maybe a gray one. We can also murderize our red onion by slicing it thin, and carve out a tongue that looks like a tongue, right? Now that the dough is risen, punch it down, and separate into six even bowels. Keep them under a wet dish towel while you shape them. I like to roll them out into a snake a la Play-Doh, and then use the heel of my palm to rub over the point where the ends of the snake connect to make an Ouroboros bagel. Cover with plastic wrap and fridge them for 24 hours, if you can, before giving them a warm water bath. For their nice little soak, we're going to need a simmering bath with a tablespoon of honey, and then you cook on both sides for about 30 seconds each before retreating to a draining rack. Once they're all nice and relaxed from the spa, we bake them at 450 for 30 minutes. With our Halloween party of ingredients all gathered, it's time to make that sandwich. Split the bagel, add a slimy smear of cream cheese, devilishly dot it with capers, ruin it with red onion, deploy our bisected egg, add in our spooky tongue, and top with lettuce. I guess. Boom! Now it's time to try our blah bagel. Oh no, we lost the fun. So the main taste I got out of this was the egg. They're very big. The capers and raw red onion could make up for that a bit. There's just not enough of them. And the lettuce doesn't add that much. I would go for a thicker, heartier lettuce than the bib lettuce, or just more of it, because then it could provide kind of a refreshing crunch. The tongue broke. So overall, it's a very nice bagel sandwich. I do not think it's good enough to be like, you can only buy three a day, as you can in the video game. And it was kind of fun to make. Not as much fun to eat, because everything keeps on sliding out. I would have to give it a number of Yokai Watch games that got officially translated in the United States times two out of ten. So thank you very much for watching this extra spooky episode of Nerd Cuisine. What are your favorite spooky bagel toppings? This is actually my lunch too, so I'm gonna go eat this off screen. Thank you again for watching. Boo. <laughs>
Okay, now you're just blocking the whole camera. 